Welcome this morning again to glorious morning shower. I believe your night was good. He kept us all through the night. If not for the Lord, how on earth can we overcome the night to see today? It is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed. I want to remind us again that we are in the month of joy or celebration. For in the same months of joy or celebration, the enemy has planted tears to cause sorrow. So the Lord said, the word for your shower this morning is joy cancels all sorrow. Joy eliminates sorrow. What light does to darkness, according to the book of John chapter 1, verse 5, it says, And the light shined in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. Exactly what light does to darkness, is what joy does to sorrow. So, any area of your life that is experiencing sorrow, the Lord said, the joy of God coming your way this morning will eliminate that sorrow. I may it be so for every one of us in Jesus' name. That sorrow is not permitted to go further. Why? Joy is already knocking at the door. Joy is knocking at the door. And the Lord said, if only you can open the door of your heart to me. When I come into your life, every sorrow will disappear. The anchor scripture for today's shower is John chapter 16, verse 20 to 24. John 16, verse 20 to 24. He said, Verily, verily, I said unto you, that ye shall weep and lament, but the world shall rejoice. And ye shall be sorrowful, but your sorrow shall be turned into joy. A woman, when she is in travail, had sorrow, because her hour is come. But as soon as she is delivered of the child, she remembered no more the anguish for joy that a man is born into the world. And ye therefore have sorrow, but I will see you again, and your heart shall rejoice. And your joy no man taketh from you. He said, he knows that you have sorrow. He will see you again. And when he comes again, the joy that he will live with you, no man can take it away from you. May that be the portion of somebody connected to us on glorious morning shower today in the mighty name of Jesus. And verse 23 says, And in that day you shall ask of me nothing, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Whatsoever ye shall ask thy Father in my name, he will give it to you. Hitherto ye ask nothing in my name. 
Now, ask and ye shall receive that your joy may be full. Ask that. Ask and ye shall receive that your joy may be full. So, asking God this morning for that kind of joy, that fullness of joy, that will make sorrow leave you. Many people die, not even for the sickness, but for the pain, the sorrow, the good food, the agony. Joy has the potency to eliminate that sorrow if only you welcome joy into your life today. So I charge you in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit that you welcome joy, the joy of the Lord. Let it become your strength today in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm going to declare some prophetic word over you today. Many of you connected to us on glorious morning shower, like God commanded at the beginning of the month, that we should keep declaring. You see, you didn't ask, that is why you didn't receive. Now we are declaring it. We are professing it. Let God take the lead and enforce every prophetic word coming upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree that the joy of the Lord chase away every sorrow in your family, in your life, in your health, in your business. May the joy of the Lord eliminate, force away every sorrow in the name of Jesus. I decree over you that every bitter situation in your life and family turn to joy now in the name of Jesus Christ. May your dark day turn into a bright day in Jesus' mighty name. Every dark situation in your life, may they turn into a bright situation in the name of Jesus Christ. By the joy of the Lord that has come your way today, I decree that there will never be a better yesterday anymore in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I pray today that the joy of the Lord be your strength after the order of the book of Nehemiah in Jesus' mighty name. That is your word today on glorious morning shower. Go into your world, go and possess your possession. Be joyful, be glad today. Say, this is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice. We will rejoice and be glad in it. And December is a month of joyous celebration. So if this is a month that that war will keep hitting you every day, keep telling yourself, this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. When you enter your car and you hold your steering, decree, this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and I will be glad in it. When you enter your office and you sit down, this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and I will be glad in it. And as you keep saying it, keep saying it, darkness have no choice than to leave you. Sorrow have no choice than to leave you. You begin to see that what people sorrow about, you are just laughing over them. Is Are you not in this country? Can't you feel what is going on? The fuel scarcity, the price of things going up every day. So why are you this joyful? Why? Because your link is not in this world. Praise God. That is going to be your portion today as you go out to take possession of your possession, of, to take possession of your right, what God has planned for you. I decree that this war will follow you today, that joy and gladness will be your portion in Jesus' mighty name. The Lord bless you, the Lord keep you, the Lord make his face shine over you in Jesus' name.